concrete sport pitches are dotted throughout this city like thousands of tarmac scabs that just won't heal. They're places for congregating, for fighting, for socializing, for competing. They're where countless Londoners do their growing up, and Eddie Peake is one of them. He spent his youth near Finsbury Park, doing what kids do on concrete recreation grounds. In this show, he's reimagined the gallery as a new pitch, a concrete playground for grown-ups. The fog of nostalgia hangs heavy in the air. It's not just his childhood pitch he's part recreating. Peak has also brought his teen heroes from pirate radio station Cool FM, now Cool London, to broadcast from the gallery, pumping jungle and garage up into the space. Curving through the gallery is a long line of metal trays covered in great gloopy globs of hair gel, neon signs and speakers. It's a sculptural take on Stroud Green Road, corner shops, barbers, people, all throbbing and heaving together. The speakers scream out a constantly rising tone, like thousands of buses going past at once. It's tense, loud, hectic. There's a film showing naked dancers in a screened off section in the middle of the gallery. A click 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 ticks them along as a projection behind shows peak in the nude next to images from art history. There are paintings lining the walls, two big neon semi-abstracts, like 90s album covers for records Miles Davis never got to make. Peak will be working and performing in the gallery throughout the show as well. Dancing, painting on the concrete walls, writing poetry. But is it all a bit of a mess? Yes, there's so much going on and, as good as the film and Stroud Green Road piece are, the cynical side of you might want to dismiss the whole drum bass in a fancy gallery thing as pompous, over the top, Nathan Barlier skips the douches of our excellence. And as nice as the paintings are, they feel like odd, conservative add-ons to the radical rethinking of the space. Here's the thing, you can't be cynical, because he's not cynical. Eddie really means this. This is his whole life on display. It's his youth, his worries, his vanities, his loves, his ideas, his art. You can have a problem with the paintings, or the music, or the ideas, but Pete is so open and honest that you can't help but get swallowed by it. By creating a concrete pitch for his adult self, Peak has made a safe space to do whatever he wants in. It's erotic but banal, pretentious but approachable, pretty but ugly, it's life in London and it's a mess, but maybe that's why we love it. At Eddie Frankel by Eddie Frankel. Smoke shit.